Okay, this is day 25 wrap up. It was a whirlwind day. I just held on by the seat of my pants to my juice fast. Well, well, well. Well, I woke up and um, I don't remember what I had. I had some juice. I had orange, orange watermelon, I think. And then Gary called me, and he, um, his brother is uh, not in the best shape, and he got a call saying, you better come up and visit, and that's a five-hour drive, and he was very confused about what he should do, what car to take, and this and that, and I had a picnic to go to at 1230 in the park, but for most of the morning, I was driving back and forth from his house, getting him set up with the computer and the car. And uh, I, so I didn't have any time to do the tomato juice, which I had tomatoes. I had everything I needed. So about the time the party was supposed to start, once Gary got s squared away, I started juicing and I juiced as fast as I could. And I was planning on using my old car that had a problem, but I thought it would drive me around, you know, get me to the park back. I had a brand new battery, so I expected when I went out to try to start it, it would start, but it didn't. So then I had all my juice, I finished juicing my juice, but I didn't have a way to get to this picnic, which was a couple miles away, maybe three miles away. And so, and everybody was already at the party. I couldn't get a ride. So I looked around the room. I saw my bicycle. And I said, well, you're going to have to ride your bike. So I put all my stuff I was going to take in the car. I put it in my backpack. And I just started pedaling over to the park. It was fortunately a nice day. It wasn't too hot. The weather was good. And it had rained earlier. But the rain stopped when I was driving, uh, riding over there. And I got to the party. The party was fun. We had a lovely time. And... They had already eaten, which was great, too, because they had pizza. And so I just sat and drank my juice. I had a few. I brought some of my cherries with me, a bowl of cherries, and everybody just ate cherries, and I had a couple of cherries. It was like, yeah. And um, then, you know, the party was over, and then I got back on my bike, and I, I pedaled back. Unfortunately, it had started raining when we were at the picnic. We were under a shelter, and by the time we were wrapping it up, Rain stopped, and I was able to ride back. And it was actually, it was up and down hills and stuff. It was challenging for my legs. It was like, but it's like I always say I should get out on my bike, and there I was, you know, because I had to get out on my bike. And so then I got home, and what did I do? I don't quite, oh, yeah, I had to do some work, so I did that, and and uh, I had had a chai earlier in the day when I drove down to Gary's with the car. And I, um, what else? I was just sipping on my tomato juice, but I had to go to another event tonight. I was expected, and people, you know, I talked to them, and they were expecting me. So my car wasn't working, so I got back on my bike, and I rode back over to this place, which wasn't quite as far as the park. It was on the other side of town. And took my tomato juice and just sipped that and uh, I got a little bug juice about this much bug juice because I thought it was water but it was bug juice I drank a little of that a little different flavor kind of a Hawaiian punch and um, then I get back on my bike after the event and rode back in the dark you're not supposed to ride in our town without a light and I didn't have a light but I took the back I was on the sidewalk and it was fine. I saw a policeman, but there were people shooting firecrackers off, so and their fireworks. So he was, you know, he was on the trail of the fireworks people. He actually he passed right by him, but he wasn't interested in me in the dark on a sidewalk on my bike, which is good. Because I heard of a lady who actually got arrested for riding her bike in Fairfield. I think she was on the sidewalk, as I remember, but she didn't have a light. But anyway, so um, then I got home, and... I had some other stuff to do. I had to take the battery out of the car and charge it, which I did. I had to look it up to make sure I did it right, because I'm not real good with cars, you know. It's like, I have 
double check, triple check, and get the right sockets. And uh, I did it. It's charging now. Hopefully it'll charge. I don't know what the problem is. But anyway, the nice thing about the little town I live in is tomorrow when I go to Aikido, I can ride my bike. And the other thing that happened today was I, I was continuing to listen to Fanny Singer, Alice Waters' uh, memoir. And also I was watching a few you, a little YouTube with she and her mother, Alice Waters. And it occurred to me that once I go back to eating, it might behoove me to start studying the way that Alice Waters cooks. Because the more that I read about her cooking, the more I understand that she really cooks real food. And I was thinking, you know, something like a beet salad or sauteed um, garlic, onions, red and green peppers with kale, and really study how she flavors her food. And she said that 70% of the food that she grew up with was cooked on an open, like a, a open flame, either in the fireplace or a grill or, I don't know, a wood wood fire, I don't know, but I like food, I like cooking, and it might be good for me to kind of change up the way that I prepare my food, you know, so that there, it's interesting and, you know, it's uh, surprising perhaps, tasty, but not um, the refined carbohydrates that I tend to get involved with, butter and sugar, which she's not real big on that. She's real all about ingredients. And the idea of having the fresh fruit for dessert, that's something I want to investigate too. See how that goes. But anyway, so today was hair raising. It was, there were times when I thought, eh, I don't know if I could do this. And I did have some pickle slices. I had quite a few pickle slices, but I was biking so hard and so fast. The other thing is I woke up, I was 131 plus, which is good. I still have tomorrow five days to go. So it's like I said before, I'm not punishing myself, you know, I'm just doing, you know, something for myself, you know, so I can moderate it on occasion. So that's it. That's the end of my 25 day wrap up or the first day of the six day diet tomorrow. Choose fast. Tomorrow will be the first day of a five-day juice fast. And tomorrow, what do I have? I have Aikido. And the evening, I have a party I'm going to go to, which I will bring juice to. And if I have to go to the store, I'll be on my bike probably, unless this battery gets charged up. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, tomorrow's another day. Check in. Maybe tomorrow.